So I have some product reviews that I wanted to share. We recently went camping and I wanted to share with you um, some products that we purchased. Uh, it just happened to be that my husband wanted to try out this Dr. Squatch soap and um, the company that um, the company advertised on YouTube as well as various other locations but that's where um, my husband spotted it and he wanted to try it because it's an all-natural soap made of all natural ingredients that won't have you um, getting any allergic reactions or whatnot and it smells fabulous and he loves it and um, it's advertised to men because it says men's natural soap and um, it's packaged in this uh, paper product and it smells fantastic. So this cedar citrus smells, I could smell the cedar, but I can smell the citrus. It smells awesome. They all smell fantastic. So this one, and these are the bar soaps. This one here is grapefruit IPA. It smells really good. And it has a little hole for you to, um, to sniff it. Smear, spearmint basil. Definitely very fresh. Um, you can smell both the spearmint and the basil. Mm. And this is cool, fresh aloe. Mm, this one's really good. Birchwood Breeze. Mm, Alpine Sage. And these are really men smelling type of uh, smells, but women can use them too, I'm sure. I haven't tried it, but um, it's friendly for men. And so that was a bar soap, and this is sulfate and paraben free conditioner, and it's 12 ounces of it. And the bars were five ounce bars. And this is the shampoo at eight ounces, and they all smell fantastic. This is Cypress Coast. It does smell like that. And it has oat protein, jojoba oil, and honey. Good ingredients. And this one, the conditioner has shea butter, avocado oil, and menthol. Really good um, scents. And so in fact, they did bring a bar of soap to the campsite um, just to smell fresh. And if you go to a site that does not have showers for you, which this one had a shower, but if you go to one that doesn't have a uh, place to shower, you can get by one day uh, without a shower, possibly using these. Um, it's from Hustle Clean, fresh, uh, removes sweat, dirt, and body odor, clean and soothes, kills 99% of germs, contains aloe and witch hazel. There are 10 packages in each box and it's a body wipe. So it's meant for after you go to the gym and say you have to go, you know, and you have a really strong smell, you can get this, but you can also use it as a quick like shower. Mm. So each of these packages, there are 10 in the box, um, has a really thick, uh, so when you're sweating at, at the campsite and you're really hot, you can you can do this too. Um, and it has a really thick wipe that you can start, you know, from your face and work your way down to your neck and then downwards and stay fresh and clean. And I was curious what the ingredients were that they would allow you to use on your body that's safe. And it has benzyl, Alconium chloride, 0.13%, and, and it's an antimicrobial agent. Decreases bacteria on the skin for external use only. Mm. Do not use if you have an allergic reaction to any of the ingredients. Um, you could test it on your inner part of your arm, which is pretty sensitive before you actually use the whole product on your skin. And avoid your eyes and other areas. Keep out of reach of children. Mm. Use different sides of the paper, the product on different body parts to maximize um, the use. And do not flush it down the toilet because it's really thick. 
and allow the skin to air dry. And these are the rest of the ingredients. Water, aloe, juice, citric acid, fragrance, glycerin. And it smells like a little bit, you could smell a little bit of citrus, the citric acid. Not at all um, stinky or, or an odor or a uh, fragrance that you wouldn't like. And so I was curious, what is that? And I happened to have one of these because um, I had a few from when I went to the doctors and they give you that like two in a, in a pack when you go use the restroom and they need a urine sample. So I always keep these for when I want to use them, you know, every now and then I have, I use one or so. Um, and these are what they give you, obstetrical towelettes, uh, when you're giving urine samples at the hospital in the little pouch and it has the same ingredient benzoyl alkaloid alkonium chloride 0.13 percent the exact same thing and this one you're able to use on your nether regions and this you're able to use on your skin so it's pretty safe for use all around um, on your body so I found that out and that was so interesting to me. <laughs> I don't know if it is interesting to anybody else. So um, that was a really, this is a really good uh, quality product. And I read that they um, are so generous that they will give away, um, it says shower to the people. And it says it's a program that partners with nonprofits to deliver hustle clean products directly to communities lacking access to clean water, bringing support and awareness to areas in need, and also for people who want to play in sports um, that don't have money for free. So I love that they are so committed to the community and to people, and I love that especially in a drought or in locations where you need to clean your body in some way or another, and this is such a great product. I really highly recommend it. Um, uh, so, and while we were camping, um, we brought all the things. So this is what I use on my homestead, um, like at night when we need to close up the coop and it's gotten too dark or we need to do something. This is a great hands-free, um, product that we got from Costco. It comes in a set of three with the batteries, Duracell, and it has, um, a stay on, a strobe, and a, um, I think also, and of course it turns off, but it's very bright and you can use both your hands to do things while lighting up, um, the area in front of you. And I really highly recommend it. It's really good. And, um, so we took that camping with us. And then this lamp that my sister got for, uh, for my daughter, um, for her little play area in her room. Um, and I believe she got this from Target or Ikea. I, I'm sorry, I don't really know. But it's an excellent product and it lights up very brightly. And it's great for reading. That's what she used for reading. And um, then we got this. Uh, my mother-in-law bought it for us. And I thought, oh, I don't know what they'd use it for, but it was good. We put it in the tent, or you could put it outside of the tent, and it's solar. So you just blow this thing up. It was it was flat, and we just added air. And then the solar, um, you just put it outside of your tent, and it collects the solar energy. And, you know, we haven't used it since reading and, and doing stuff at night from camping over two weeks ago and it still works so that's the on then there's uh, brighter and then there's this uh, strobe light thing and then it has a strobe light red color maybe if you want to sign signal you need help because you can lay it like this or you can lay it down and uh, onto your book and read and then the red in where it stays on and then it the off function and it's really lightweight and you can hang it up on things outside of your tent inside your tent read it just over your 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 book it's fantastic I love it 
we had three of those for the kids and um, I used it as well thanks to my mother-in-law and then recently we didn't have this for the, the camping trip but we bought it just in case of an emergency and it's this cute little pouch and in it is this um, this sleeping bag and it has this orange outside um, and then inside is that aluminum foil looking stuff and it's supposed to keep you warm and dry and you could even put it on the outside of your sleeping bag so as you can see it's got that aluminum foil and um, it is huge it opens up really really big and you could put it like I said if you need extra heat or dryness um, outside of your your sleeping bag and you don't want your sleeping bag to get like say you don't have a tent or something or you need it for an emergency or some people buy it for um, homeless people and it just works fantastic and it's also bright orange so if you're needing to signal for help or something you can use this as well you can flip it over to the shiny side as well um, and it's an emergency survival sleeping bag and as you can see it's very roomy good for tall and big people um, and I thought it was fantastic what it's good for waterproof wind rain snow emergency signal keep warm hypothermia prevention um, so I just thought you know what why not and it came in um, we ordered it through Amazon four for 17 something so that was a fantastic deal um, highly suggest it in case you you come across uh, an issue or you need it for a bug out bag so those are some fantastic uh, products and I hope that you give them a try these are good for gifting as well and for the men in your life great for Father's Day that's coming up and I hope you uh, give them a try or if not that's that's up to you but um, all these products on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, they all get eight eights and nines and even some of the products are tens to me because survival bug out bags prepper stuff and just for ordinary use you you need them in your life trust me 